Okay guys, got this chuck rust here. Got my new crock pot here. I've used it once or twice. And I put this bag in here to kind of save myself cleanup. I'm going to put a little bit of beef broth. Usually it has enough fat to kind of like cook it in, but I'm going to add some beef broth in here and just let it cook low and slow tonight. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so we're in the morning. Let's see what our roast looks like. Delicious. So I had it on low and slow for 10 hours and I'm going to shred this, let it stay in some of those juices, which look delicious. I'm going to make a quick sauce and I'll show you in just a sec. Okay. Let's see. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not delicious? Ooh. goodness look at that shred so delicious perfection look at how beautiful this is okay I'm gonna let it sit in the juices while I make some red chili sauce I'm gonna make red beef tacos tonight <laughs> Um, I used to get chilies and make it all from scratch, but you guys won't make it. I decided to make something just super simple, just a quick little red chili sauce. I'll fish this out of the juices, put it in the sauce, and that is what we're going to make our tacos with tonight. For Taco Tuesday, look at this shredded beef. Yum. Okay, you guys, I always tell you I'm making this up as I go. Because I am. <laughs> I have, I told somebody last night, I have this taste in my head. And I gotta recreate it. So, I'm gonna let this cook just for a couple minutes. I want it to kind of like dissolve. And then I'll add some of the chicken, no, some of the beef broth from our crock pot. And then I'll add some salt and pepper and, you know, other seasonings like that. But let's see how this turns out so far. Okay, added some beef broth in here. Okay, guys, this is what it's going to be. It was a little spicy, so I had to add a little bit of um, more broth and some tomato paste to kind of tame it down a little bit. But I believe with the meat now, even though it's a little spicy, the meat will kind of tame it down also once I put it in here. I'm gonna let it thicken up just a minute or two more. Only took maybe five, 10 minutes to make this. And we'll let the meat marinate today while I go to work and then We'll come home and make some shredded beef, red chili beef tacos. See, it's gonna look like that. Yum, huh? You guys wanna know what's great about this? Is the beef cooked all night long, and then this morning only took about 15 minutes to put this together. And then I'll just put it in the fridge and dinner will be served. All I have to do is heat up some tortillas. You can use, um, if you're keto, you won't use any tortillas. But if you're low carb, you can use low carb flour tortillas or a couple of corn tortillas. I make keto meals, but I'm basically low carb. And so I'll add a little bit of carbs to one of my meals each day. Yum, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm pretty excited about this. Mm. Looks good to me. Yum, look at that. Okay, I just taste tested it. It just needed a little bit more salt for my tasting. And look at that shredded 
red beef to go in tacos today. Forget about it. Or you can just have this on the side, a keto way I would make it, was just eat a little bit of this on the side with a salad and oh, it's gonna be so delicious. Yum. Beautiful. Mm. Okay guys, so this turned out delicious. So I'll show you the new recipe in just a little bit.